Hello everyone. So this is the next video in the series about unit testing. First video, uh, previous video we have talked about the general testing that how we can start writing uh, the test for our application. This video we are going to uh, test the exceptions. If your method is throwing an exception and you want to test that, how we can do that? So let's go ahead and get started. So this is the calculator application that we have. So earlier it was returning these two numbers n1 plus n2 and we have tested uh, we have tested this behavior. So in this one, so I have added two behaviors here to throw an exception. So if it if any of the number is less than minus 100, it is going to throw an exception, right? So runtime exception, which is the exception that is given by the JDK library itself. And the second one is if the number is uh, larger than 50,000, then we are exception uh, we are throwing and custom exception to large numbers right so in this way we are going to cover both both the cases if your method is throwing a, a exception that is given by the library itself and your custom exception right so let's go ahead and start writing the test for this so this is the calculator add test where i'm going to add um, so where we have few test cases already and i'm going to add the one more here so i'm copying this one and adding the this three case 3 and write the display name add test when the numbers are so this is the display name that we have given so so remove all of this right so to test the exception we have assertion libraries for that also assert throws right so this is the library that we have assert throws right so when you write this first thing uh, if you see this is the recommendation that is coming what type what kind of exception that you are expecting that it is going to throw so i am expecting that it is going to throw an runtime exception the second parameter that it is uh, taking it is an executable so you have to pass an lambda expression here so calculator and if this is the add method that you are doing so these are the sample data that you are going to pass here minus one zero one so that it can throw an exception and second number 100 i am giving it here right that's it you are done so with the single line assert throws and passing the kind of exception that you are expecting here and the executable calculator that uh, dot add this method that is there you are passing the thing so let's go ahead and run this method so if i come here so as per the behavior that we have added it should go here and throw an exception right see it threw the test case is passing so it means this add method is throwing an exception right so i got the type of type of exception that it is throwing but what if i also want to i also want to test the argument that the message that i have given here it is printing it is giving that or not so to do that introduce the local variable here so you will get the exception here right and from this exception you can get the exception masses right so assert throws assert i boom assert assert equals so i want some expected masses here right and the second one i want exception dot get message right so this one so what is the expected message suppose i am leaving it blank right so let's see how it is we having in that case so it will fail obviously because we want um, it has some different masses actually it has different masses right so this one it will throw an exception and will exactly say what it is expecting right so actually it is giving this one so i can copy this while doing the testing you can follow this way of adding the actual argument that it is giving you right so i can pass it here and if i run it again it is going to pass So here uh, now you know how you can test you can test type of exception as well as the custom masses that it is passing in the same way that we have written the test for runtime exception let's go ahead and write the test for this custom exception right so i am going to copy this here and paste here put here case 4 when number is larger than 50,000 right so this is going to be the same here so 
notice what changes I am going to do here. So now what type of ex exception I am expecting here? Two large exception, two large numbers exception, right? So this type of exception that I am expecting here. So this is the runtime exception type that it is holding. So it is true because runtime exception is the parent class of this one. But I can give here this one to be more specific, right? And this exception can give me the exact message that it is that it has. And what is that exception? And what is that message here? This one. So I have to pass it here like, like this. And if I run this one, it is going to pass. If everything is goes fine, it is going to pass. No, something is wrong here. So let's check here. So unexpected ex exception type thrown. It is it is giving you the exact error. Let's see. Expected what it is expecting. Two large numbers, but was runtime exception. So it is throwing runtime exception. Why so? Yes here so you did not change the data that it is there right so it has to be more than 50,000 right suppose I am making it yeah, this one exact greater than so if I run it again now it should pass yes it is passing now so once let's go ahead and run all the test cases that it had so I have done changes in the method and added the few unit test cases. So I should make sure that it is not breaking any previous unit test cases or any previous test behavior, right? So it is not breaking any other changes. So now we have four test cases with proper information, proper display name, right? So now one thing to note here. Uh, so any new changes that you are, any new feature that you are introducing in the existing class or method, it should not break the existing unit test cases. Right. So this is the reason that we write unit test cases and when we are uh, uh, creating the artifact before creating the artifact, we run the unit test cases to make sure that it is not breaking any other unit test cases. Right. So uh, in this case, we are good here. We added new behavior. We tested those also and it is not breaking the previous scene. So we are good here. So this is all about the exception testing. So this is super easy and quick uh, to get into practice. Right. So in the next video, I am going to come up with the next topic in the JUnit testing. So stay tuned and all the source code as always is going to GitHub. You can practice from there. Right. So stay home, stay safe and keep learning.